What up, y'all? Good morning, everybody. We up early in the morning with it, man. Y'all welcome to the channel. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you ain't already subscribed. Now, I was listening to an interview last night with Kenny Porter, man. Long ass interview. And um he spoke on the Earl Spencer Terrence Crawford situation. And then this morning, I just got done listening to Ashley Corner video. Then I said, let me let me go ahead and do my take too, cause cause I definitely want to speak on this. Now, in this interview, man, Kenny Porter gave his take on the Earl Spencer and Terrence Crawford situation. One of the things he said was he feel like it could be money holding up the fight or it could be the venue. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own speculations on that. That's whatever. Another thing he said was, well, what I took from the interview was him and Sean Porter still might not be on the same page. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter hasn't even invited Kenny Porter to the Porter Way podcast. And it's supposed to be the Porter Way. But, you know, that's another story or whatever. <laughs> on some real shit, though, it must, this is just my, my perspective, just what my thoughts or whatever. Um, Sean Porter might hold a little... Resentment for for Kenny Porter for stopping the fight, but but to me, right, this is this is my newfound take because I'm gonna tell y'all what I thought at first too, compared to now. It's my newfound take. Sean Porter might be hold a little resentment toward Kenny Porter because he threw in the fight because he wanted to go out even worse to turn Crawford to make turn Crawford look even better. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the shit. Let's think about it. He he ain't mad because he was about to give it his all. Like, Daddy, you stopped me. I was going to knock his ass out in the 11th round. That, that, was, that wasn't what he was trying to do. <laughs> he was mad because he wanted Terrence Crawford to look better than he looked. In the, you know what I'm saying? He, I wanted him to drop me two more times, Daddy. That's what the fuck he wanted to do. So now, right, I put all the... When it first happened, I put a lot of blame. I, I actually put it on both of them at the, when it first happened. But I put a lot of... I'm removing some of the blame from Kenny Porter, right, and, and slapping a little more on Sean Porter. And I'm going to tell you why. This is why, right? Me, personally. I've been doing this shit for years. Got a lot of new subscribers. Every big fight I cover, not only the fight and the shit in between, but I also cover the, the, the fight camps, part one to the fucking end. The the uh face to face offs, everything, the face to face, everything, bro. So during one of the episodes leading up to Sean Porter and Terrence Crawford, right? It was a difference in what in this other fight camp episode I seen. From Sean Porter and Earl Spence. When when Earl Spence and Sean Porter fight, Kenny Porter was working Sean Porter ass. He was on his ass. It was one of the episodes where Sean was just hitting, hitting motherfucking Kenny Porter body nonstop, just hook after hook, <clears throat> giving it, giving it everything. Everything. Kenny Porter yelling at him. I forgot what he was saying. He was yelling at him. He's like, come on. Come on, I'm talking about he ain't even had one of them body suits on. I know Kenny Porter was pissing blood that night, but he ain't even had one of them body suits on. He was just letting Sean Porter hit him burr with the gloves on, just hitting him back to back, nonstop, no bell, no nothing, till he said stop. Sean Porter did everything he said do. But then, right? Kid. <laughs> Terrence Crawford and, 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 and uh, Sean Porter fight kept one of the episodes I peeped, right? Kenny Porter had Sean Porter hitting the miss. Like, he started yelling at Sean. He yelled at him with the Earl Smith camp, too. But this was different. This was a different type of yell. I know this yell. He was like, he was like, what did he say? If you do not do what I say, you will not. Be successful, Sean. That's exactly what the fuck he said. I swear to God, bro. In one of the fight camps. I don't know if y'all remember or not, but that's exactly what he said, right? Sean Porter looked so unmotivated. He was looking up at his daddy. He's like, 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, and all that bullshit, right? But the nigga wasn't giving it. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He wasn't giving it. So that's why I have to give Sean Porter more of the blame, right? Because he told Joe ass to make sure you do this and do this. You ain't want to do it because y'all nigga was fan, f friends and you was already mentally checked out. So when we come back to the circle, back around to this Earl Spence fight and Bud, that's why we can't take everything a nigga say for granted, right? Because we know your ass didn't work the same. And you ain't do what you supposed to do. So when you was hitting the ground at the bud drops, you, mm, mm, mm. when you was hitting the ground like that, that was the cue for for you, daddy. Throw in the towel. That was that was a cold word. That was a cold word. You start hitting the ground and shit, and, and, and Kenny was like, "Fuck, I'm throwing in the towel. This nigga bullshit." I told his ass. And I, and I wouldn't even be surprised if Kenny Porter took a whole million out the bank account and took that motherfucker to the, to the, uh, to Vegas, because y'all do live in Vegas and shit like that, yeah. So I wouldn't be surprised if he took it to Vegas and, and, and bet that motherfucker on a particular little round and tripled up because he knew your ass was going to check out. I wouldn't even be mad at this shit when I really, really think about it. Like, hey, hey, this nigga, he ain't, he don't want to fight no more after this. He bullshitting. I'm going to throw the, the goddamn, because he know Shine the best. He already know. He like, man, this nigga Shine, he got to work his best to, for him. He know, he was, Kenny Porter was mad at Shine because he know Shine could have potentially beat Terrence Crawford. Right? But Terrence, but Sean Porter ain't wanna beat Terrence Croft. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? He ain't wanna beat him. And it all shows you know what I'm saying, that trainer. I wasn't there, but only thing I seen was the fight camps and step by step and I seen him performance. Come on, man. Not only is we watching the fight, nigga, we not only criticizing Sean, nigga, we a fan of Sean Porter. We watch your ass from her to her. So we know you was bullshitting, bro. Because of how you fought that dude, but it is what it is, like I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Kenny Porter said he picking Earl Spence, man. Cause he big as a motherfucker and he and he <laughs> fundamentally sad. <laughs> that what Kenny Porter said. And uh, that's his take. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's, it's definitely going to be bad for Terrence Crawford, man. Definitely going to be bad for him. It's going to be it's gonna be very bad. And, and, and Terrence Crawford, right? Heart is going to be, I won't say the death of him, because I, I don't want to wish... But it's going to be the eyes of him. Let's say that. It's just going to be the eyes of him. We're not going to say it's going to be the death of him. But it's going to be the it's gonna be the motherfucking, uh, it's going to be the orbitals of him. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be bad, bro. You know, the more Bud let his hands go, the more damage he'll be taking. You know what I'm saying? The longer the hospital stay, the longer the, 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 the eyes bleeding, you know what I'm saying? Because who got bled for 48 hours? Whew. I can't imagine how long Buzz going to bleed, but that's another story, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, man. Coming soon on that tip. But y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. You ain't already subscribed. And one more thing, man. Like I said, I just want to make this last thing clear so people can understand the point. I am removing some blame. He still has to take some accountability. But at the same, because at the end of the day, he's still a trainer. So he couldn't be like, hey, Sean, I'm not training you for this fight. Sean, I'm calling this fight off. So he still gave some respect to Sean because Sean, he wasn't able to call the shit off. So he like... We're going to fight this fight, but if you soon I see this, I'm throwing this motherfucker towel in. 
And I believe Sean knew it was a chance if he looked in a certain way that his daddy was going to pull some bullshit like that. But I believe when he hit the ground, that was that was a cold word. That was a cold word, man. But it is what it is, man. <laughs> Salute, child. I'm out, child. Deuces.